Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous session, we have seen about the look ahead group. So, what is this look ahead group? How we can use this look ahead group? We have seen for this domain URL thing. We have seen it. Normally, the look ahead means it will it is a, it is a group which will not be a part of the result. So that is the thing you need to understand. So we can also use this look ahead group in finding the password strength. So for example, let's say that we will be having a password. So let's have to let's try to define the rules for a password. So how we will have a password? So first one is it should be minimum eight characters. Okay. So I can have something like it should be a minimum eight characters. This is one thing. And another one is at least one capital letter should be there. Okay. At least one capital letter should be there. And another one, what I, can, what I want to do is at least one small letter should be there. Okay. And another, another thing is at least one zero to nine. So these numbers should be there. Okay. So this is the, this is the password strength. So just try to make it simple. So minimum eight characters should be there. At least one, one capital letter, one small letter and also one numeric. So this is the password strength. For you for defining this one regular expressions we can use the look ahead group to find this one so let's try to see it so let's say that i am having something so i am having one capital letter and also here i am having something and here i can have one normal uh, so what, what i can say is one numeric so, and also this is minimum of eight characters first try to find this one so first what i can do here i can write start and end of the thing so it should not have anything between the start and head so this should be the rules now what i can so these are anchored expressions you can say so first what i can do is so i need to match all the things okay so i need to match all the things so now it has matched it so first what i need to write so first before matching all the things <clears throat> it should be a anything it should be it should be minimum eight characters so what i can do is here i can use a look at group it can be any wildcard okay any wildcard should be of eight and minimum eight should be this is one thing what i want to do it so for example if it is having less than eight means so now the match will not be there so if you are having more than eight means so then you will be able to see the match so what i am trying today what i am trying to say is so you can have any characters first you first it should follow the look ahead group it should follow minimum of eight characters first it will try to it will not be a part of the results now again so any characters it should be there but it should follow this rule so that is nothing but it should have minimum of eight characters now the second rule what i want to do is so it is also not part of the result and again it will start from start it will start from checking from this beginning onwards now <clears throat> it should have at least one character okay so this is the thing one a to z now we are not able to see the match why because so here we are having the capital letter but we are not able to see the match why because so here we are what we are trying to say a to z it should have a to z afterwards followed by an any character so that means if i have at the starting capital letter then it is going to match it so it should not happen like this in the middle also you can have this in the middle also you can have a character so i can do something like dot star so now we are able to see it so if you don't have any capital letter so now if you try to see here so the match is not there so that means we are trying to check at least one capital letter now another thing what i want to do is so here i am trying to write another condition that is nothing but at least you need to have a one small character same thing so you can use this one and also another one is at least you need to have one zero to nine so zero to nine that's it so this is how we will be writing the password strength so now it is it will try to check so these are all the look ahead groups so first you are telling that so everything you take into consideration but follow these rules what is that one is first it should be have minimum of eight characters and in between this one so zero or many so first or starting or in between or end also so check that it should have one capital letter and also in between or starting or anything so you can check for the small letter and also for the number so now if i try to remove this number see the match will not be there and if i try to add this one match will be there so now you in the in your password strength you are having at least one so for example let's say that i am having one capital letter one small 
letter and one number so everything is there but the criteria is so here it is not matching the thing the first rule is minimum you should have eight characters okay let's try to add eight characters finish eight characters is there so now it has matched regular expression so this is how we will be writing the password strength using the look ahead group so past look ahead groups is very much useful for us in writing the password strength and all those things so one thing you need to understand is so when you change this one to non capture groups everything changes here again okay so now it will check for something like first it should be eight minimum characters then afterwards only it will check for these all the things so like this so now here you need to write some other things to get a match so like this it should not be so now here you should have like this okay so this is all about this look ahead groups captured non captured and also the look ahead groups so there are also some other negative look ahead we'll try to see it in the next video hope you understood about this how to calculate this password strength if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you